Ronda Rousey uh, takes center yeah. stage last night in her wrestling debut and rave reviews all over the place with her saying that uh, she's glad she lost her last two in the octagon because it it allowed her to get to this point where she's now a wrestling star. I mean, how does that sit with uh, with the UFC world, do you think, Ariel? So, so Rich, I, I, I could do two hours on this story because I think Ronda Rousey has put out the blueprint for every athlete under the sun, every celebrity under the sun, on how to best not deal with, you know, some kind of setback in your career, some kind of failure in your career. She couldn't have handled those two losses worse. It has been astounding to me how poorly she has handled these losses. Every step of the way, every chance that she has gone to at least just talk about the fight, she hasn't even talked about the losses. She has not, I have not heard the word Holly Holm come out of her mouth, and that was two losses ago. She ran away from it all. And look, I don't know what she's going through mentally. I don't know. I've never been in her shoes. But I have also seen other athletes falter, quote unquote, choke, you know, not reach the finish line on the grandest stage as possible. I've seen Connor lose on the grandest stage possible. And I've seen him show up to the press conference with a nice suit on and handle it, you know, as, as well as possible. Connor put out the blueprint how to handle a loss. She put out the blueprint how not to handle a loss. And so it is refreshing you know, a year and a half later from the second loss, two and a half years after the first loss, that she finally actually says these people's names, that she, it looks like she's turning the page. I'm happy for her. She did great last night. It's time to move on. But I just think it's amazing to me. I saw her do that car wash with ESPN two weeks ago. She can't even say the word MMA. She has all this resentment towards MMA. The reality is she wouldn't be in WrestleMania if it wasn't for her stint as a UFC superstar. The reality is that no one would care about her if she didn't, you know, do what she did in the UFC. So why do you have all this resentment? You know, you lost. Everyone loses. We go through way worse things in life. We get sick. We have deaths in our family. It's hard to feel sorry for someone who just lost and made millions of dollars. And I don't think she recognizes that. So she's handling it in her own way. I'm happy she spoke to Ramona Shelburne. I'm happy she said the things that she said. It's time to move on. But you can't undo the last two and a half years to not even address it once and not speak to the MMA media and make us feel like we're bad people just because we want to talk to you about a single loss in your career to me is is is, hmm. is mind blowing but you know everyone's different everyone's going to handle their things differently the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience